Hi, this is Dr. Ballard. I'd like to share some information about uncovering the hidden health data in 23andMe test results. I know there's a lot of uh, frustration out there because people have used this service and not gotten the advantage of the health reports. Well, the health information is there. It's buried in the raw data, and I'll show you how to dig that up. I'll also plug my own service at the end here. Thanks for listening. If you're not aware of them, a company called 23andMe is the largest provider of home DNA testing in the world. They've performed over 650,000 of these tests, and in late 2013, they lowered their price to a remarkable $99. This is cheaper and in some ways more valuable than cholesterol testing. If you're one of the thousands who have used 23andMe hoping to learn something about your health, you were probably disappointed. 23andMe only provides hereditary reports. You can find out your percentage of Neanderthal, but the FDA restricts them from generating any kind of health reports. What is hidden in the 23andMe report? Well, it's huge. Which drugs you're most likely to do well with or poorly with, hormone and neurotransmitter regulation, inflammation, autoimmune diseases, uh, food sensitivities, uh, disease susceptibility. Although disease susceptibility is probably the least important of the interesting uh, parts of the DNA analysis, despite all of the hoopla it's been given. Why would you want to know your genetics? Why get bad news, as people often tell me? Because despite what you've been led to believe, your health destiny is not fixed. You can change how your DNA blueprint is expressed. These two mice are genetically identical, bred to, for obesity, diabetes, and cancer. But the mouse on the right was given a healthier diet a very special healthy diet and because of that he is normal and even his fur is resorted to a normal color. The emerging sciences of epigenetics and nutrigenetics have demonstrated what natural medicine has always maintained that we are 50 percent nature or genetics and 50 percent nurture or lifestyle and that we can improve our health by nurturing our DNA nature. I've developed genetic health reports on dozens of my patients. The ones who gain the most from these reports are those who, number one, are looking to optimize their health. The second group are those who think they're doing everything they should be doing, but aren't seeing the results they expect. And then the third group are those who have health conditions that have proven to be difficult to diagnose or to treat. There are three ways for you to explore your DNA data to reveal the health implications. Number one is to do it yourself. The next is to consult a healthcare provider. The third is to hire an interpretation service. We're going to go through all three of these, but let's start with the do it yourself. Once your 23andMe test is finished, log into your account. In the upper right hand corner, next to your name, click on the down arrow and then on Browse Raw Data. The Browse Raw Data page looks like this. From here you can explore different genes. If you know that you're, what you're looking for, you can type in the gene for further information. For instance, here I've typed in MTHFR. This is a gene that's involved with folate, a B vitamin, and methylation. Um, this will take you to a page that contains research findings. On the other hand, if you entered uh, DAO, here in the slot, that would give you information about a gene that influences the breakdown of histamine in the body. This is a list of different MTHFR genes. Note at the top, I say I have. It says I have uh, 59 SNPs. SNPs are alternative versions of the gene that may potentially cause problems with your health. Uh, I can further explore these by clicking that plus symbol that's on the left. This opens up the box that shows several links to research. If I click on the reference link, it takes me to various scientific articles. There's maybe one, there may be hundreds. It depends on how much research has been done on that particular gene. 
this is the kind of the secret background information that your DNA is whispering to you, or maybe in some cases it's shouting this information at you. As you can see, it's possible to explore your genetic data on your own, but it is difficult. Keep in mind that to, to do this project, you'll need a lot of time and understanding of genetics and medicine. And for this reason, I don't recommend that lay persons attempt this. I mean, it's kind of like asking if you fix your own car. Well, some of us do, um, but it, as you know, it takes a lot of time. It's complicated. It's far more complicated than um, in fixing your car. If you can find the right health professional, this method works. But realize this is a very new science. It's barely in the medical schools now and wasn't there just a few years ago. Also, your genome contains thousands of bits of information. Sorting through that takes hours, not the typical 15-minute office visit. There is also no official registry of health providers with this expertise. I suggest that you look for a naturopathic doctor or a functional method, method doctor or perhaps a holistic practitioner and ask if they have advanced training in this area. An easier way to look at your DNA data is to hire a third party to produce a report, a report for you. There's a number of companies offering this service for a fee. You send them the copy of your 20, 23andMe data and for a fee, they organize that into a report. These vary widely, both in price and in um, quality, and they all have their own agendas. A limitation of many of these third-party reports that I've seen is that they tend to focus on only a few genes. For instance, there are reports that claim to tell you about your athletic ability or detoxification or drug metabolism or mood. There's a company in Seattle, for instance, that will cost you over $1,000 to find out which medications you maybe do or don't process very well and need to be careful of. But the reality of the situation is that genetics is much more complicated than this. We are not... Um, you know, individual isolated little boxes that don't interact with each other. We're an integrated network of interconnections. A person's mood is influenced by neurotransmitters, but also by hormones, by environmental toxin levels, by their overall energy. And athletic ability does involve muscles, yes, but also concentration and joint health and overall energy. All of the chronic diseases involve multiple genes, multiple enzymes, and body systems. The diabetic, for instance, who has poor nutrition and circulation and high oxidative stress will be much sicker than the diabetic without these. This diagram shows a little bit of what I'm talking about here. The, the genetics are complex. They're an overlapping mix of relationships. To say that X or Y gene controls mood or drug reactions or athletic performance is simplistic. For the patient, these reports can also be very confusing. What is this stuff called homocysteine? And why am I high in it? And what is choline? And should I take folate or folic acid? With some of these reports, you still have a lot of work to do before coming up with any meaningful solutions. The second problem, and my pet peeve with these reports, are that they focus on the high-profile diseases. You're maybe the, seeing the same uh, magazine articles about the reporter who gets his test back and it shows that he has a certain percentage of chances of having diabetes or whatever. It's a disappointment for most people because they probably already knew what their family history was. But more importantly, so what? I, I think you'd rather know what's to be done. What can you do to actually improve your health? Again, we see the simplistic thinking drawing ridiculous conclusions. The companies producing these reports show a lack of understanding of what genes actually do. Only a handful of diseases are associated with a single gene.
Most are far more complex, and the genetic associations aren't even worked out yet. Big diseases are the result of many little factors, including hundreds of genes and dozens of lifestyle components. Again, the mouse on the right had virtually a 100% chance of becoming obese, diabetic, and cancerous, but it's healthy. The third problem with most of these genetic reports is their lack of help with solutions. Decoding your DNA is only the first step. You want to turn that information into an action plan that optimizes your health. You want a death prediction or do you want a solution? I think most people say, I want some kind of solutions. I already know I have this family history, but what can I do about it? So you buy a report telling that you have a gene variation that tells you have trouble breaking down neurotransmitters or maybe estrogen. But now what do you do? The solution is to turn on the pathways that reduce your mood swings and your risk of cancer. Without an action plan, you're left with brooding on the gloom rather than initiating solutions. Your action plan starts with an understanding of your genetics and health history and builds on that to develop lifestyle modifications. To do this, you need a healthcare provider that understands genetics, nutrition, detoxification, and other lifestyle factors that are known to modify genes. Unfortunately, too many genetic reports leave you with the message that you have a risk of a disease like Alzheimer's and an action plan that says something like, well, just wait until the next blockbuster drug is released. This isn't the message your genes want to hear. And I don't think it's the message that most of us want to hear. Why natural solutions to lifestyle problems? Because that's how your genes developed over millions of years in the natural world. Your genes are nurtured by a clean environment, healthy foods, and healthy activities for the mind and body. The depressed person doesn't have a Prozac deficiency. He has a disruption in normal functioning that needs supporting, that needs nurturing. Okay, now for my pitch. I started a service called Natural DNA Solutions in 2013 because I recognized the huge potential for DNA testing, but couldn't find anyone offering a comprehensive genetic review that included a health plan. It took me over a year to develop NDS reports, but they are really based on over 32 years of providing scientifically based natural medicine. I've always believed that the only way to attain health is by nurturing our nature. What genetics does is it adds a deeper level of understanding to further individualize treatment plans. Natural DNA solution reports are 50 or more pages long and include the following. First, there's a basic understanding of genetics. Second is a graphic overview of your particular genes and what they do. Third is a specific nurturing suggestions for, your, uh, for correcting your genetic variations. And fourth is an individualized focused action plan for overcoming limitations to improve your health. All of these reports are confidential. Only you decide who sees them. I graduated from Bastyr University near Seattle in 1982. I'm the author of Nutrition 123, numerous articles, and various videos that you can see on the YouTube channel at Tom Ballard ND. And I'm the creator of Natural DNA Solutions, providing health reports and action plans based on your DNA data. Thanks for your attention, and always remember, nurture your nature.